Hello fellas, back with more Comic Con 2018 coverage going over the Star Wars Hot Toys collectibles. Do have uh, Dark Side Anakin Skywalker here, the exclusive for the con. I like that base. That base is definitely really cool. But I'm not the biggest fan of Anakin, so definitely not for me, but I can see the same with this guy. Um, not a big fan, but uh, I know other people were in the market for a young Obi-Wan and a young Anakin, and now Hot Toys has got you covered. And this, I'm not going to lie, the Obi-Wan looks really good. Uh, I think that's actually one of the better head sculpts that Hot Toys has done. So there you go with that, and more troopers. Uh, these are tempting. They really are. Uh, I, I started collecting stormtroopers a couple of years ago, but ugh, just space. And as cool as these guys are, I just don't know if I can fit them. This guy is tempting, though. Ah, hot toys. Why? He's so cool looking. I've kind of always wanted him in a like. I'm pretty sure Sideshow has done him in a six scale format. I'm not fully certain. Uh, maybe it was Rex. I don't know, but I don't think they did. I think they did Cody and Yoda, who's tiny, very very tiny. That hair is so creepy. Count Dooku, looking pretty cool. Again, a really impressive head sculpt. Hot Toys really, I've noticed, really nails it with the uh, Hot Toys, with the, excuse me, the, uh, you got Negan back there. <laughs> uh, with the Star Wars head sculpts. And same with that Darth Maul, that thing is crazy. Hard to get him focused, though. I was having some serious trouble. Freaking Negan back there was blocking my view. But, take my word on it, it looks good. And this guy, ah, uh, I like him, but I'd rather get a Boba Fett. Jango Fett is cool, but Boba Fett is what it's all about. I wonder if uh, they're going to include a head sculpt under the mask, or a separate sculpt. And we got another uh, R2-D2, which is just crazy. Really, really, really crazy. Got the hologram there as well. So, more Return of the Jedi stuff and a uh, new C3PO, which I think looks pretty cool. I like how he's all rusted and paint is chipping and whatnot. Oh, he's definitely cool looking as well. I like that one. Really good weathering. And there's the back of the uh, of Darth Maul's speeder. And here's the Hot Toys Boba Fett, which is really, really cool looking. I was so tempted to get this. I still am, honestly. I just don't know. Um, kind of pricey, but then again, all Hot Toys are pricey. I don't know why I keep using that excuse. Here was the big reveal, the Darth Vader with the head. You can actually remove the mask. I don't know if you can remove the mask or... This is just a separate sculpt. I think it's just a separate sculpt, but nonetheless, very yeah. I just saw the helmet, so it's a separate piece. But yeah, sorry about the uh, the focusing and the glares. It's just so hard to get a good view on this guy. And there, there's a the side of his head, so you can see all the scarring and whatnot. Definitely really cool looking. Got another six scale Darth Vader as well. Very very pretty. So, he's really dusty. <laughs> so, you're getting him. You know what you're getting into. Those uh, black chrome figures. Even though he's not really chrome, but trust me. I have the uh, black suited Iron Man, and he's crazy. Like, the dust on him is just insane. Anyway, I'm getting off track. We have the new Han Solo figures. Eh. I'm not going to be the one to sit here and say, that movie was garbage. I get why people hate it. I don't like this actor who plays Han Solo, but I thought the movie was okay for what it was. It had a pretty good storyline. 
And, uh, yeah, it's clearly not Han Solo to me, but still, it's a good movie. Um, but they definitely screwed up in a lot of aspects. And some more troopers from the same film. Very cool looking. Again, space. Yikes. And the, uh, the Chewbacca. Also very cool looking. <laughs> like his goggles. They're funny. So, he's giant. And a new Leia, whose head sculpt is really, really nice. I'm telling you, Hot Toys nails it with the Star Wars head sculpts. I don't know why. It, I just feel like they put more attention on them. They're just so good looking. I mean, look at the Luke. That is really nice. <laughs> That's impressive. So, and I like his base, too. I don't know if I show it. I guess I didn't. I'm lazy. And here I tried to get a better look at the Vader. Much better look, actually. So his suit is just amazing looking. I can see a lot of people picking up this guy. I don't know when he's going for pre-order, but... Could be a while. These quarter scales definitely take quite a bit. But, anywho, fellas, that'll wrap up this coverage video. Stay tuned for my next couple videos, and I'll see you then. Peace out.